Breakfast this morning is simple but effective. It is a two ingredient dough biscuit, which is just me being too lazy to shape it into a bagel or whatever. So it's quarter cup of the self rising dough, air flour, and quarter cup of the Faye Greek yogurt, 0% fat. And then I have one egg and a splash of egg whites with some chives. So three smart points for this entire thing. I also had coffee for zero point. Hey friends, welcome to Friday, February 23rd, 4th, 3rd. I don't actually know what day it is. It's Friday. Haven't looked at the calendar yet today. Um, to say that it has been a rough start to my Friday and my weekend would be an understatement, I think, which is, you know, slightly discouraging and mildly infuriating, but we're going to keep on going. Um, I didn't get, I didn't get a solid... Once I fell asleep last night, it was solid, but it took me forever to fall asleep because my husband insisted on watching the U.S. versus Canada women's hockey game when he got home from work last night, which is fine. I'm totally okay with that. Unaware that it went into overtime. I knew what happened, so I didn't have to watch because I saw it on Facebook. Um, but I didn't know how late it was going to be, so I gave up on him and went to bed. But the, he, he, you know, thinking that it was only a couple minutes left, he, we didn't, like, close the door or do anything to like make it quiet and the hockey game rambled on forever and then he came to bed which woke me up blah 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 rough evening <laughs> this morning I get up to go put my contact lenses in and my right eye freaks out freaks out which you know could happen to anybody and be like okay let's just not do it for a couple minutes and and you know a couple eye drops in and it'll be fine Except for me, I had a transplant, a corneal transplant in this eye. So eyeball freaking out is a little bit more scary for me. And like it was all red and like sad and whatnot. And I was like, oh, freaking perfect. Like it's nothing that I'm a stranger to. I'm actually quite good at dealing with it now because I had to deal with it for so long um, back in 2011. But so I was like, perfect. And then one of the things that, so my eye is freaking out, right? I'm in pain. I threw some um, hydrating eye drops in my eye, and then the next thing I went to do, with only one contact lens in, mind you, um, was I noticed that when my eyes start to hurt or whatnot, drinking water, for whatever reason, I don't know if there's anything other than a psychological reason for this, I don't know if it's biological at all, but if I drink water, I feel better. So I grabbed my giant venti Starbucks water bottle thing, and my fingers hadn't been working yet because I just got out of bed, didn't grab that tight enough, dropped it, and it's the it, the cap opened, and the whole 32 ounces spilled on my bedroom floor. This is first thing this morning. And then, and then, there's a possibility that we lose another family dog today. And because he's my dog, um, A, I'm already upset about it. Not gonna lie. Don't even know if he's if we're putting him down today or not, we're taking him to the vet to see if there is something that can help him because poor boy is in so much pain and he's so like bloated. He literally looks like one of those big old beach seals, you know, that you see and you're like, oh, they're so cute and fat. That's what he looks like. And he's miserable, miserable. Um, so if the vet doesn't have a, a decently affordable way to fix him, hold on. Sorry about that. The neurologist called because I went and requested my EMG results, which is where they like electrocute your muscles to figure out what functions and what doesn't. I don't recommend that experience to anybody who doesn't need one. Um, but my physical therapist, which is something I will get into later because I don't have time right now. Um, my physical therapist wants that. And because I started physical therapy this week and a new chiropractor who I'm about to go I have, I have to leave in like 10 minutes to go to the chiropractor for the second time this week. Um, well, that's a story for when I have a little bit more time. But bottom line is we don't know if my poor Rudy is coming home from the vet today. And my dad texted me saying he has an appointment at 2 and asked if I would like to come. And while part of me really doesn't want to, I can't like, I can't emotionally handle that. Um, I should because he, for whatever reason... While I still lived there, he latched on to me, so he's my dog, and I should be there, you know, you know, so, um, I've already been nice and upset about it today, and I don't even know if it's gonna happen yet, but if it does happen, solid chance I'll be devastated the rest of the day, you know, 
So, <sighs> happy Friday. As a quick snack before I head back out the door, I'm just going to eat a couple of pieces of turkey for zero smart points because I'm not really hungry, but I know better than to leave without having eaten anything. So we're just going for a quick zero smart point lunch. All right, my friends, it is quarter to four and I just got home from the vet appointment and um, I'm having a snack. So I've got three ounces of smoked salmon from Aldi and it comes in this package and it's $3.99. So I treat myself to one of those and then I got some carrots, zero points, zero points, and then I'm having two of these Bel Giorgio fresh mozzarella because they can. Um, but the scanner in my grocery haul, I said that they were two points for a serving. I plugged in the nutrition information and it turns out they are three points for one and five points for two. But because all I've eaten today with points was my two ingredient dough biscuit, I'm going to have two for five points. Hello friends, it's time for an update. <sighs> Went to the chiropractor, he beat the crap out of me, but it feels good. It was one of those things where like the bat, the lower part of my back, and like he's, he's mending me all sorts of up. Oh, by the way, I'm seeing a new chiropractor who has a, an aggressive treatment plan for me. I got x-rays done, all sorts of crazy stuff, only to discover kind of what I already knew, that my body is way jacked up. Um, but I actually have curvatures in the spine where the spine is supposed to be straight, and I'm straight where the spine is supposed to be curved. Go figure. Um, and the doctor said, he goes, it's, it's fine, it's manageable, it's not something I'd expect to see in a 31-year-old woman. You know, so like something down, some age down the road, this would be expected, but not this early. And it's just, it's, it's my body and my lot in life and that's fine. So we have a very aggressive three times a week for four weeks treatment plan going on that involves like some PT, some uh, massage therapy, and some really aggressive adjustment. Um, and I, I used to go to a chiropractor briefly over the summer and it was, it was nice. It was fine. I didn't realize how bad of a chiropractor I was going to until I went to this guy who's a really good one. And like the stuff this guy is doing is just like, I've never heard so many <laughs> sounds come out of my body and like things that I've been trying to crack for weeks on my own and have no luck and no indication that I can do like even get like the lower back, you know, it's like you lay and you swing your hips around to try and like get your lower back to crack. I tried to do that so bad just the other day and couldn't get anything. No relief of the pressure. And this guy comes in and does it and like thrusts his um, body weight on on my hips and everything just went rip right on. I was like, I've been trying to do that for days. Thank you. Um, so, and it's one of those things like my, my lower back when I left this morning, so today's my second treatment, yesterday was my first, and my lower back like felt so much weird pressure, I was like, ooh, ooh, this might not be good. By the time I got home, I felt amazing. Like in the 10 minutes it took me to get home, my body went, yeah, this is what it's supposed to be. Um, and I felt a lot better. And emotionally, I felt a lot better. And then I had to go and take my dog to the vet. Um, not, not this dog. This dog is just being her bratty little self aren't you yeah say i'm totally okay although i got an email from the vet the other day saying this one needs to go in and get her her next round of um shots like baby like like this year i've had her long enough where we are on our annual visit to get our vaccinations so goodness gracie you've been around for a while um great so gracie's fine i'm talking about the dog that is at my parents house um, who is, I call him Eeyore affectionately because he reminds me of a red Eeyore. Um, he's just so mopey and whatnot and he's, he's not doing well. So, so there was a possibility of putting him down today if things were going to get really expensive and out of hand. He's 11 years old, which isn't an awful age for dogs his size. And I mean, he's not a giant, but he's not like little dogs are supposed to live, can live to be like 15, 16 years old. I don't anticipate him living this long, that long. Um, but I was just like, I, emotionally, I was torn up about it. Like I said, I think I said it on the vlog earlier. It was just, I was a wreck. Um, but thankfully, the vet's like, no, we're not, we're not giving up yet. And they give him a blood test and we're going to see what happens from there.
and see if it's something that is manageable um, that gives him decent quality of life because right now the poor kid can't even stand up and walk well because he also has torn ligaments in his back legs that we're giving him pain medication for um, but the surgery is like three grand and he's so old like if it was Gracie it would make sense to get the surgery because she's one but poor Rue has, has lived a good life but he's not ready to go yet so I I was able to let go of some very I, like my heart was broken and we hadn't even made the decision yet and I just I couldn't I, I sent a text to my husband and said my heart cannot handle this day like I was a disaster um, but then we, we he came home have you ever had one of those days where just like the emotions are running so high that even when you just it's okay and you let them go you're just beat because your emotions are running so high that's how I've been today um, so I've consumed, as you've seen, you've seen everything I've eaten today. My little snack tray that was five points worth of cheese and zero point food, um, some zero point turkey, and I took that just so I can take some medication that I need to take with a meal um, that the chiropractor gave me, believe it or not, an all natural muscle relaxer to help get me adjusted faster, um, which is which is great. I, I'm, I'm two days in and I'm feeling really good, guys. I'm super excited. And then my breakfast which was three points. So I've eaten eight points today and it is after 5 p.m. And the dinner plan is five smart points. I know that for a fact already, which is going to leave me with plenty of points to play with for the evening. And I'm just trying to muster up the energy to go in the kitchen and cook up a couple of delicious things. I have three point banana bread that needs to be made because we've got some sad bananas up in here. I also have the, the stuff to make my cheesecake, which it sounds really really good right now I can't decide if I want to make it today or if I want to save it for the week I figure I should make it today because I won't have time to make it any other time this weekend and I like having a good dessert around so maybe I'll do that anyway so that's the update I'm okay Rudy is okay and that's it I'm gonna get cooking in the kitchen here is dinner it is a glorious plate full of delicious healthy food for I am tracking it as three smart points. I am the side dish is the little potato company garlic and herb. I'll let you know how it is. Um, but for one serving, which is 114 grams, it's um, two smart points. For two servings, which is half the package, is five smart points. But if I go by weight, I am nowhere close to the double serving. So I am saying I'm, I'm at like 130 grams of potatoes, and I was like, well, that's enough. So I'm just going to track it as three because it's a little more than one serving. So, three smart points. All right, friends, so like I told you, we opened our date box, and this one is called Unity. And what was inside, this is everything that was inside. It comes with this nifty little packet that gives us all the information and a little introduction about our date, and it turns out that our date about Unity, eh, I can't get it out, is in here and it is an escape room game that we have to play together and I don't know if you guys have ever played escape rooms but they're they can be intense but they're a lot of fun um, and Datebox curated its very own game and there's snacks so let's see what they provided here they gave us the recipe for kettle corn and they gave us the popcorn and I'm presuming the sugar is for the kettle corn but I could be wrong um, they gave us packets of apple cider for some warm apple cider. And we have a caramel apple kit, which is a super cute idea. However, we do not have 10 apples currently, so this is probably not something we're going to do tonight. But we do have little caramel um, dipper things from Christmas time. And we have apples. We, ha we don't have 10 apples, but we have apples, so we can do our own caramel apple thing. And then we're supposed to turn, oh, spice up our cider. There's conversation starters. It's called the cruise ship escape. I didn't even see that. That's cute. We were recently on a cruise, so that's, that's fun. And so it's got this nifty little book. I'm excited. This should be a fun, fun thing. And in case you're wondering, I didn't even eat all my potatoes, so I'm counting my dinner as two smart points. All right, here's my dessert. We decided to forego the treats that came with the date box for tonight. And we're gonna do date box stuff tomorrow, which is totally fine. So this is one of the banana breads that I made that I chopped up rather poorly, actually, into strips and then put in the air fryer 
to crisp them up and they're they're they look a little overdone but that's okay um it'll still be delicious the bread actually turned out really really good this time around um and then i have some strawberries for zero points so that's three points and this leaves me with 10 points left for the day which is outrageous um it was just one of those days that i didn't really feel like eating much so that's totally fine so there's a possibility that i will be eating this rx bar which regularly is seven points the way i track it with just the nuts it is three points either way it fits perfectly into the plan for the day so if i'm still hungry that's what i will be eating but for now i'm going to stop at 10 points left for the day which still earns me a blue dot by the way 10 below and i think five above is now your healthy eating range that gets you a blue dot so on that note i will see you guys tomorrow Good morning friends, happy Saturday. This is breakfast, because breakfast has to be quick and on the go today. We've got coffee with one tablespoon of half and half, fat-free half and half for zero smart points, an apple for zero smart points, and a birthday cake quest bar, which is four smart points, and this is going to be my pre-body pump fuel. Here we go friends, 9.15 a.m. body pump. I am keeping it super light and focusing on form because of what the physical therapist said. This is what I do every Saturday. Here is my Saturday lunch. These are the Trader Joe's cheesy wafer cracker things. Um, half an ounce is two smart points. A pickle is zero smart points. And then I have a sandwich. This has this is the Joseph's Pita for one smart point. I have one tablespoon of fat-free mayonnaise on there, which is zero smart points, and an ounce of Trader Joe's light shredded cheddar, and which is one point turkey meat for zero smart points. Hello there, friends. Happy Sunday. I don't actually know if I picked up the camera to talk to you yesterday, other than show you food. I have no idea. The day kind of went just. Flew by. The whole day flew by. Went to body pump yesterday. It was great. Got all 10,000 steps in before I left the gym, which was amazing. And we went to church and we even um, got invited to go out to dinner, which would normally kind of throw a wrench in my points plan, but it didn't. I love it. I love it. So we ended up getting invited to go to Qdoba, which is kind of like a Chipotle. And I ended up on our way to Chipotle, to Chipotle to Qdoba, I popped the app open and looked for the exact same ingredients that I would do because it's just another burrito bowl place. And I knew I was going to get the same thing I got at um, Chipotle anyway. And it ended up being a couple more points than normal. So it was 15 points for what I got at Qdoba. And um, it's typically 10 at Chipotle because I asked for half rice. And the poor guy who was building things behind the counter did not need me to start nagging him about exactly how much rice for him to give me. He was just having a bad day. His manager was on him. So I took the full serving of rice. I took the full serving of cheese. It was delightful. I think I like Chipotle better. Let me know. Are you team Qdoba or team Chipotle? I like Chipotle better. Um, but it was still nice. And so it was 15 points. And we still, we got home and I still had... Two, no, I was a little bit over, but I was not out of my healthy eating range to earn a blue dot. And then we cut up um, some apples and used the little caramel dip um, thing that my mother-in-law left in our pantry instead of making the caramel apples that came with our date box because we did our escape room date last night. Um, so we're like, well, let's have caramel apples. And I ate, I, like, I tracked it as like two points because I, I, it's not, I didn't eat the whole thing. My husband and I split it. Um, and it was just a little bit, and it was mostly apple, so I tracked it as two points, and it earned a blue dot yesterday, despite my trip to Qdoba, which was great. Today, I'm having an I want to eat all the things day, which is driving me batty. It's five o'clock now, I just heated up my dinner, which I'll show you in a minute. I had to sing at my Lutheran church this morning, so my breakfast was coffee for zero points and an RX bar, which I tracked as three, although they are technically seven. I'm going to do a whole video on that, though, you guys. I'm going to do a whole rules I break video. Um, that'll be coming up this week sometime. And, and then for lunch, I ended up at my parents' house because Eric went to the gym. And because of that, I, I was starving. I started off with two clementines for zero points, and then I was like... I need to find something else to eat. There was leftover pizza from their dinner last night. 
and I tracked it as I think it was six points for the few little pieces that I had. Now, I want to ask you a question about pizza, guys, because in the app, it talks about thin crust pizza. But what kind of pizza is thin crust pizza? Is the depth of like Pizza Hut pizza thin crust pizza? Like the big triangles? Because my family orders from this place called Romano's, which is local, and it is like the thinnest pizza you have ever thing. Like like it's flatbread with. Like that's that's how thin it is. And I'm like, my sister and I were talking about it because she's on Weight Watchers now too. And we're like, what? she's like, how do you track pizza? And I'm like, well, sometimes I just don't track pizza if I'm being completely honest with you. But like the last time I had Giordano's, I tracked it as two slices because I think the slices in the app are referring to like those big triangular one eighth of a pizza slices. Am I wrong? How do you guys track pizza? What width is thin crust pizza? Because I looked for extra thin crust pizza and I found extra large thin crust pizza and so I don't know so I tracked I think it ended up tracking is like seven points so I ate some stuff over at my parents house I came home and ate some crackers because I was still hungry and some carrots I've eaten so many carrots <laughs> drank a whole big thing of tea and now I'm having dinner which is this dinner is doo -doo 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 -doo, the leftover of this creamy broccoli rice thing I had the other day, but it is not actually rice, it's cauliflower rice. So everything in this is zero smart points. There's chicken, there's broccoli, there is cauliflower rice, and then the creamy part is actually um, half a can of the Campbell's, I don't remember if it was fat-free or low-fat, condensed cream of chicken soup and I put that in a saucer let that melt down and get all hot and that like didn't add water or anything didn't turn into soup just use the condensed sauce as the condensed soup as a creaminess thing mix it all in there and so this is uh, two points I don't even think I'm going to finish it all but I'm tracking it as two points which means that I still have the points left for one of my banana breads and I might. It will put me into some weeklies, but not kill me of my blue dot. I might make some two ingredient rolls, two ingredient dough rolls, because I feel like I'm needing carbohydrates today. Like, I don't want sweet food. That's not what I'm craving and what I'm munchy for. I'm munchy for, like, bread. And so maybe some two ingredient dough biscuits like I have in the morning are exactly what the doctor ordered. The other thing I'm doing is getting ready for my week, and the way I do that is I plan, and so I thought I'd show you guys just what what kind of planning stuff I do. So, I have two planners that I use regularly. I'm There are weeks and I'm really bad about using them, but I have a weekly spread um, vertical planner from Erin Condren. You know, fun stickers and to-do lists and blah, 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 blah. And that kind of thing. And then I use my hourly as kind of a, a look at my day. Like this one gives me a much more thorough view of what is happening. And then I love that the um, hourly ones come with this to-do list thing built right in, in the sidebar. Which is why this habit tracker that is from the Erin Condren website. I will link them down below. They're so cute. Let me Let me show you. These are customizable habit trackers from the EC website. I picked the colors. I got a whole like pink themed one. And then you fill out each um, thing to be what you want. So it's just for me with tracking, water goal, fitness, blog work, power hour, which I use to clean, morning routine, evening routine, journal, quiet time, me time, read, plan tomorrow. And um, they're just so fabulous. So I throw those in the um, sidebar of my, my vertical because I like the to-do list in my horizontal. But this is my week. This is all the time I'm not at home. Somewhere in there I have to figure out where I'm going to the gym. These are body pump. Um, I wish I had real body pump stickers. Hmm. One day. One day. But for now the workout stickers work. But everything has to get done in all of that white space. So we'll see how the week goes. The tab trackers are awesome. I'll link them down below. Dinner is two smart points and more will come later. 
Good morning, my friends. It is Monday now, and I never finished the weekend vlog last night, so I figured I'd hop on here and do it. So last night, the eating situation was as follows. I did everything I said I was going to do. I made the uh, two-ingredient dough biscuit thing for five smart points. I did half a cup of the flour and then half a cup of the Greek yogurt, and um, that ended up being too much food for me. Like, I felt so full after I ate most of the broccoli creamy chicken rice creation, but I actually gave the last maybe quarter of the container to my husband because uh, I was like, I'm, I think I'm done and I know I'm saving room for bread, so I'm just going to stop eating and the bread was too much. I should have either made a smaller one or forgone it completely, um, but because of that, I didn't eat the banana bread. Also, I ate no dessert thing last night. So I clocked in the day at exactly 23 points. So my weekend was as follows. I went back and checked so I could tell you. It was 13 points on Friday. So I had 10 smart points left over, um, which as you know, on the freezer, or as you may or may not know. So in order to earn your blue dot, you have a healthy eating range, which is within a certain range below or above your points. I believe for freestyle, the answer is 10 below to five above. So I can be anywhere from 13 points for the day to 28 points for the day. I normally get 23. Um, and I managed to do that all weekend. So I was down 10 on Friday, eating only 13 points. On Saturday, with Qdoba and a caramel apple slice thing, um, I managed to clock in at 28 points, which kept me at a blue dot. And then yesterday I was exactly at 23 points. So I had, dare I say, a perfect weekend of eating on Weight Watchers. Was I completely within my 23 points? No, but I earned a blue dot and that is what counts in my book. I consider it to be a job well done if I can do that. So I have gotten up. I've already been to the chiropractor this morning. It is like 11 o'clock now. And I have a busy, busy week. I have an appointment every single day this week. I have a lot of work I need to get done. I have a lot of tasks not related to work that I need to get done. And I actually feel like like a person with a full schedule this week, which is crazy. Like I always have a full schedule, but it is within a clean schedule and me assigning myself things to do that keep me busy. Whereas I actually have appointments this week craziness craziness so somewhere in there i'm going to figure out time to create content and create a video or two and create um and do my blog finances i need to do that it's been on my to-do list since the beginning of the year and i haven't gotten to sit down and do it yet that has to happen this week so i hope you guys enjoyed this little what i ate on weight watchers weekend edition vlog i figured i'd share a weekend with you some weekends are not as great as this one was i will be completely honest with you some weekends it's i just throw things to the wind and it is what it is but my accountability was you guys i wanted to stay on track so i had a valid look what you can do on the weekend and stay on track vlog for you. So thank you for being the reason that I stayed on track. And I'm going to tell you something. I've been on track for a while now, like over a week, I think. Um, yeah, I think starting the, uh, this past Monday, like I've been nailing it on being on track and I feel awesome. I've, I've been to the chiropractor, I think f three times now. And I've been to physical therapy and I've been on track and I just feel energized. I feel good. I feel good. Guys, if you work the healthy living plan, regardless of if you're on Weight Watchers or not, if you put good healthy things into your body, your body is going to thank you and respond so well. Nobody ever felt miserable eating a healthy diet. It's when you put all the junk in your body that things start to feel crappy and you start to feel, I've been sleeping amazingly seven and a half hours this past night. Heck yes, I've gotten solid sleep all weekend, even with my husband home, and which you guys know is not necessarily always the case, um, but it's been good. So I'm feeling really good, and this is like, it's that thing like, like progress creates the desire for more progress and more motivation. I want to keep feeling this good, and I want to be able to have the energy to get the things done and do all the things, so I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing in terms of putting things in my body, so... Words of wisdom for your Monday morning. But thank you guys so much for taking the time to spend the weekend with me. Take care, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!